Most homeschoolers are quite familiar with their local library, but did you know that you can also sign up to get library cards out of state? Welcome, I am Trisha, and I am a homeschooling mom to three kids. This is our 10th year of homeschooling. In a recent video I did about uh, five, for, five reading resources for older kids, I shared about getting library cards for out of state. And one of my viewers commented about it and I told her that I will make sure to get this video up. It's a little late, so I apologize. Thank you for the idea though. Now this may seem, uh, why would you want an out of state one? Because you can't, you know, I'm not gonna drive some to another state to pick up a book, but I'm not talking about for physical books. This is for digital products. We are a big audiobook family and between the three kids and myself, we can easily have more than 15 books, audiobooks going at the same time. Um, or 10, plus um, I usually have several Kindle books going at the same time. So we subscribe to a couple libraries out of state. And this is a really low cost, um, effective way to be able to expand, get more resources than what your local library may offer you. I will leave a link below that lists some of the libraries that participate in out-of-state library cards. So you'll wanna check that out. The two we belong to are Brooklyn, New York, and then the Free Philadelphia, Free Library of Philadelphia. Um, your cost is going to vary, but roughly um, expect to spend somewhere between $40 and $60 for a year. Now, in comparison, Audible, which a lot of people use, is $15 a month and you get one audiobook. Now you get to keep it, but still $15 a month or $40, $50, $60 a year for unlimited. <laughs> you can quickly see how um, your savings can add up. The process is actually pretty simple. Now it's a little bit, at least with the two libraries we've done, it is not instant. And I wouldn't call it um, cumbersome, but it if there's a couple steps. So first you'll need to go to the library, use website, and um, find the link. Now the link that I'm going to list below will take you to the library's page. You'll fill out an application. The two that we did are online. There were a couple that I saw that you had to like, download the PDF, print it, fill it out by hand, photocopy it, send it back. But the ones we did were online. And then I had to wait for a couple days and I got an email where I needed to send in um, a picture of like a photo ID, um, just the front side, and then um, a copy of some kind of a utility bill. And I just did um, our water bill. So um, that now the photo ID, I have sent in my military ID, so it doesn't need to be one that has an um, address on it. It just needs to be an official one. And I'm assuming that if your, you know, if your two addresses don't, if it does show your address and they don't match, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, they just need to, they need some kind of utility bill showing where you actually live. Anyway, um, so you're going to do the application, then you'll send in that, and then a couple days later, you should receive um, through email your barcode and login information for it. Um, both of the two that we did used to send out physical cards through the mail as well. I don't know if they still do because we signed up originally in 2015, I believe. So now the advantage of this, advantages of it for the Brooklyn Library, you can check out at one time 15 overdrive items that includes the books and audiobooks. You can have their digital magazines. They also subscribe to Canopy, which is a documentary app, and you can get, you can watch six documentaries a month. You can watch it on the computer, but we have it on our Fire Stick, and we just, we log in through there. Um, and so we can just watch it on the TV. So those are kind of the biggest, the biggest things we use from Brooklyn. Philadelphia has a lower limit. I think it's nine overdrive items. I couldn't find it to verify, but I think it's nine. 
It does not have Canopy. It does have digital magazines. Um, each year when you are about to, um, your thing is coming due, you, I've gotten an email reminder and then like it just goes into my account as a fine. So I have to log into the library's website and pay the fine and then do it. Oh, I didn't say that originally. Um, after you pay, after you send in your photo ID information, then I've gotten the link to pay and then I've received the um, email. So that's, just know that it's not going to be an instant thing. You're going to have a few days time that it's going to take. Um, so just watch your library or watch your email closely and make sure you give them a good email address. And that's it. It's quick, it's easy, and it's a great way to expand your choices. Um, of the two that we use, Brooklyn is the one I would recommend. They are both $50 a year, um, but Brooklyn has a better overdrive selection and more, we can check out more. So if I were going to choose one, Brooklyn is the one that I would choose. And so far we've kept them both because of the different selections, but I think next time we renew, I'll be dropping the Philadelphia one. Um, originally it started out, it was cheaper. It was, I think it was just $30 the first year we did it, and then it's just gone up from there. So um, either one is still a really good value. It's just which one I want to... I just don't want to keep paying for both. So Brooklyn it will be. If you have any questions about it, be sure to leave them down in the comments. You can click on the screen right now for playlist to the rest of my reading and language arts types of resources. Thanks for watching.